welcome to the next lecture in electrical machines we were discussing the synchronous motor and this is the last lecture in the synchronous motor the topic that we are going to discuss is basically the merits and demerits of the synchronous motor so first let us see the merits so the first merit of the synchronous motor is that the ease with which the power factor can be controlled so we have seen in the previous two lectures that the synchronous motor can operate both in the under excited case as well as over excited case so it is very helpful when we require to control the power factor now we know that in an over excited synchronous motor which is operating at a leading power factor it can be operated in parallel with the induction motor since in industries 95% of the motors are basically the induction motor which operates in the lagging power factor so in order to improve the power factor an over excited synchronous machine which is basically at operating at the leading power factor it is connected in parallel with the induction motor so what happened in that is that it improved the power factor of the supply system the power factor which was lagging due to the presence of the induction motor now due to the synchronous motor over excited case the power factor improves second merit is that the speed is constant and independent of the load we know that the synchronous motor operates at a particular speed decided by the synchronous speed which is depend upon the frequency and the frequency of the supply so the speed is constant and it is independent of the load so even there is a variation in the load the speed will remain constant this characteristic is mainly of use when the motor is required to derive another alternator to generate a supply at a different frequency as the frequency changer so when we require the synchronous motor to operate at a particular constant speed this can be used to operate to derive another alternator to generate a supply or in the same different frequency third merit is electromagnetic power varies linearly with the voltage so uh, so the merit of uh, where the electromagnetic power that is being generated is varying linearly with the voltage so when there is a linearly change in the voltage it means that if there is a little bit change in the voltage so there will be change in the power and that is in the linear proportion these motors can be constructed with wider air gap than induction motor which make them better mechanically so in case of a synchronous motor the air gap between the stator and the rotor is wider so there can be better mechanical design these motors usually operate at higher efficiencies especially in the low speed unity power factor range so the efficiency of the synchronous motor is high compared to the induction motor when it is operating at a low speed and unity power factor condition having known the merits now we are going to discuss the demerit so the first demerit is the cost per kilowatt output is generally higher than that of an induction motor so synchronous motors are costly compared to that of an induction motor for the same kilowatt power it requires dc excitation which must be supplied from external source so we know that a synchronous motor the field windings are excited from a dc excitation so basically we require two type of supplies one is dc supply for the field winding and ac supply for the stator winding synchronous motor is inherently not self starting motor and needs of arrangement for its starting and synchronizing so we have already discussed the methods to start a synchronous motor and to lock the stator and the rotor so synchronous motors are not self starting and we required some different arrangements for the starting of the synchronous motor it cannot be used for variable speed job as there is no possibility of speed adjustment so in certain application where we required variable speed the synchronous motor is not possible to operate because the speed remains the same it cannot be started under load and starting torque is zero we know that synchronous motor is not self starting motor so starting torque is zero and hence 
it cannot be started under the loaded condition. We also know that it has a tendency to hunt. So basically the synchronous motor uh, rotor rotates at a speed which is less than or more than the synchronous speed. So there is a tendency of hunting in synchronous motor which we have already discussed. It may fall out of synchronism and stop when overloaded condition. So if the synchronous motor is keep on loading, then what happens is that the machine which was running at the synchronous speed may fall out of synchronism and the overall system may if I get affected. Collector rings and brushes are required which are costly and increase the price of the synchronous motor. For some purpose, synchronous motors are not desirable as for driving saps in small workshop having no other power available for starting and in case where frequent starting or strong starting torque is required. So we know we have already seen that under loaded conditions, synchronous motor can't be started, starting torque is zero. So when the starting torque is required or frequent starting is required, in such type of applications, especially in the workshop, it is not preferable. So having known the merits and demerits of the synchronous motor, now we can compare the three-phase synchronous and three-phase induction motor. So we will compare the synchronous motor and induction motor with some particulars or the characteristic like magnetization characteristic, speed, starting method, power factor correction, major application, efficiency and the cost. So first let us focus on magnetic excitation. Synchronous motor we have seen that it is a doubly excited machine. It means that we require the DC source and both the AC source. DC source are required for the production of the DC excitation in the field and AC source is required for the stator line. Whereas in case of an induction motor it is basically a single excited machine. Its stator winding is energized from an AC source and rotor is excited due to the induction. So we do not require a DC source in case of an induction motor which is required in case of a synchronous motor. Second the speed. It always runs at synchronous speed. So the speed is independent of the load. There is one particular speed on which the synchronous motor rotates. However induction motor speed falls with the increase in the load. So when the load increased the speed falls and it is always less than the synchronous speed. There is a relative difference between the speed of the stator and the rotor in case of an induction motor and on basis of this principle only the induction motor uh, operates. So the speed will fall when there is an increase in the load which is not so in case of a synchronous motor. Third characteristic we are going to define is the starting. We know that the induction motor is self-starting motor whereas the synchronous motor is not self-starting motor we require an external source by which the rotor is rotated and magnetically locked with that of the stator magnetic field to rotate it at synchronous speed. The fourth characteristic is basically the power factor so we know that the synchronous motor can operate both for a lagging and leading power factor because we can change the excitation being the motor operates being at overexcited case as well as underexcited case. Whereas the induction motor operates only for the lagging power factor and it becomes very poor at light load condition. So there is no method by which the induction motor power factor can be controlled whereas in synchronous motor we can operate both for the lagging as well as leading power factor condition. Major application we see that in case of the synchronous motor, we can operate for power factor correction in addition to the driving load mechanically whereas in case of an induction motor, it is used only for driving mechanical load. So the application of synchronous motor are wide as compared to the induction motor. Next characteristic is the efficiency. So synchronous motors are more efficient than the induction motor of the same output and the voltage rating whereas the efficiency is leaser in case of induction motor for the same output and voltage rate. So if we talk about the efficiency, synchronous motors are more efficient compared to the induction motor of the same output and voltage rate. If we talk about the cost, the uh, synchronous motor are costlier as compared to the induction motor whereas the cost of an induction motor is less than synchronous motor with the same voltage rating and same output.
So these are the few important characteristics over which we have compared the synchronous and the induction motor. So this completes the lecture on synchronous motor. So we have discussed in detail the principle of operation, the working, the oper uh, synchronous motor under the different power factor conditions, the loading conditions, the merits, demerits, the advantages, the applications as well as comparing it with induction motor. So once we study both synchronous and induction motor together, we understand the AC motor in depth. Thank you for now. See you in the next lecture.